Hi my beautiful Libra and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your April reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for April I'll be doing a giveaway and the winner of this giveaway will get, well there'll be two winners and each winner will get a free 15 minute personal reading from me. To enter the giveaway all you have to do is either subscribe to my channel or if you've already done that in the description box below you can uh, follow me on Instagram or in my about me section under book a personal read you can follow me on my Facebook page Either one of those or all three doesn't matter how many you do you'll be entered in the giveaway if you do all three that'll enter you in three times um, Yeah, so I've also put all the information for my personal readings and one-on-ones Also questions in the description box below so everything you need will be there from now on so I'm going to start off with a moon card. This is just going to be the overall energy for the month ahead for you guys. Oh. So we have prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus. I feel like you guys are going to be attracting a lot of wonderful things. This is, you know, with this energy and your energy, that's a lot of Venus. Um, you guys are going to be looking very beautiful and just feeling very abundant. Feeling like, you know, with little effort, great things are coming towards you. Something that you've been working towards or that you've been, you know, dreaming of, wanting, is going to come towards you this month and really make you happy. And then we have the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini, and your commitment is being tested, first quarter moon. Some of you guys could be, you know... In a, in a situation with somebody where they're kind of testing you a little bit and um, you know the testing is going to end and because of that you know the answers that you need regarding this person is really going to come to you. I feel like you're questioning things because they are testing you and maybe you didn't know until you know I just told you or maybe you had a feeling but you weren't sure and it's like once that test is over you're really going to see how they truly feel about you. They're really going to be able to express themselves towards you. So what can we get? Oh. So we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. We have you deserve love. You are lovable. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So it definitely looks like some of you guys, you know, could be putting your partner to a test or they could be putting you to a test and it does look like somebody may possibly fail that test and that may lead to a separation or maybe even just finding out that this person is testing you is going to lead you know you to really take a step back and really think about if this is somebody that you actually want to commit to or not some of you are really questioning you know if this person has done something um something to you or you know just been unfaithful towards you and you're going to be getting the answers that you need this month to really know um how this person truly feels you know if they've done anything if they've been deceptive and because of that you're going to be able to move on move forward so it does look like whether the outcome for you is good or bad you know good things are going to come of it either way which is a really good thing i do see here that um you know this is definitely something that is faded for you so if it is good it is you know Part of your life path but also if it's bad it is a lesson that you need to learn or a lesson that needs to happen in order for something great to come afterwards i do feel like things are going to be changing for you so this all depends on what situation you're in now if you're in a happy situation you know things may get a little bit rocky but if you're in a rocky situation things are going to move forward but whatever happens is dest is destiny and is fated to happen I see a lot of you guys are going to be spending some time with your friends, hanging out with your friends a lot this uh, month. Yeah, there could be somebody in your life that you're very cautious about, you're very unsure of, you're just not really trusting of this person. You want to, but at the same time, like in your gut, you just know that there's something a little bit off about this person. <clears throat> Some of you guys could be into, you know, magic or just very into, you know, into the spiritual arts a lot. Some of you guys could be into like the occult, into numerology. 
Some, for some of you, this could mean that your partner has a very negative energy that still lays with them. This is their past karma, because the wheel also talks about karma. This could be a karmic relationship. I do see for some of you here, there is going to be a new start within something stable. An offer being, uh, you're going to be offered something stable, whether this is a commitment, whether this is a job. There is something coming in that is going to lead to uh, success. It, it has the potential to be very successful. Yeah, you're going to have a new start. Starting over, you know, or just, you know, starting new, starting fresh. And really just not really focus on anything, you know, except for yourself and where you're headed. You're really focused on yourself and where you're going. You're not focused about the things, you know around you for some of you you definitely do have a partner that has done something deceiving towards you because it's like you see what they're doing but at the same time you're walking away because you just don't care anymore you're just focused on yourself and that's that others of you this could mean this, that you know what's going on but you're trying to turn a blind eye and pretend that it's not happening because you just you know you just want to be happy and you don't want you don't want to deal with that you don't want to lose this person but, you know, sooner or later you'll have to realize, you know, or, I mean, you already realize or you're starting to realize you have some sort of feeling. But sooner or later you're going to have to act on it. I feel like the person that, you know, this is relating to is definitely a lot more head over heart than you. I feel like you are more... You know, you have more emotions than this person, and it's like this person won't really show them. They're very guarded as to where you, if you feel something, you're going to tell this person. You know, this person could definitely be very flighty, very in and out. You know, one minute they can show their feelings, one minute they won't show their feelings. This person is a seducer, you know, very passionate. Um, I'm not really getting, like, the most trusting energy off of this person at all. There is a lot of passion between the two of you guys, though. I do see a lot of passion. Some of you are definitely going to be making a decision um regarding this person and what to do i do see that you know whatever was hidden is going to come to light and it's like you know you you know intuitively like there is some secret here this person is hiding something from you and either you know or you're going to be doing some sort of research to find out um what it is that they're doing you know you may be trying to do this very sneaky in a way that they won't know because you may not be you know 100 percent sure but it does look like there is you know a secret that you have an intuitive knowing about but at the same time you haven't really taken action towards this person is definitely hiding something from you but it does look like this month it is going to come to light and you're going to be able to move forward because you know what was hidden is no longer going to be hidden anymore everything is going to be in the light so that is what I have for you guys for this week. Um, if you would like more clarity and you want a personal reading or you have any questions, my information is down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful month and just really trust your intuition. Okay, guys? Bye.